Hey young people of Malta, my name is Andreas Mogensen and I'm an astronaut with the European Space Agency. It's the first week of June and I'm talking to you from my home in Houston, Texas. Like most of you, I've been in quarantine uh, for the past almost uh, three months. Uh, the place I work, NASA's Johnson Space Center, has been shut down since early March and I've had to work from home uh, just like many of you. These are difficult and challenging times, but the most important thing is that we stay safe and look out for each other. This is actually not a new experience uh, for astronauts, and perhaps I can give you a, a few tips uh, to get through these times. You know, astronauts, before we launch into space, we spend the last two weeks on Earth in quarantine, isolated away from our friends and family, uh, in order to avoid bringing bacteria, viruses, or other uh, illnesses with us into space where we could potentially infect our crewmates on board the International uh, Space Station. Being confined to your home or to your apartment uh, is actually also very similar to what uh, we experience on board the International Space Station uh, where we uh, typically live for six months and sometimes all the way up to a year uh, at a time. On board the International Space Station, you're confined inside. You can't open a window or a door. You can't just go outside. And so some of the challenges are similar uh, to what you're experiencing these days. What's important is to try to maintain a normal uh, daily routine. Uh, so if you usually get up at 7 a.m. to go to school, do that uh, even today. Get up, have breakfast, shower, brush your teeth, and try to structure your day uh, like you normally would. So study, take time to read. This is a really good time to catch up on books. Uh, get to know the people, uh, your family, and anyone else that you might be isolating with. Make sure to communicate. Communication helps uh, uh, you to get to know people better and to understand uh, who they are as people. Uh, on board the space station, typically we're six astronauts at a time. And so cohesion, social cohesion, uh, is really important and, and you establish that through good communication. Make sure to also exercise. Um, exercise is important not just for physical fitness but also for mental fitness and, and happiness. You know, exercise makes us feel better. Uh, and even though it can be important or sort of difficult uh, in a small uh, home or apartment, there are still things that you can do uh, inside to maintain your fitness. In the future, uh, some of these challenges are gonna be even more difficult for astronauts, in particular when we uh, try to travel to Mars. A trip to Mars is gonna take, all in all, about two and a half or three years. It takes six months, six to eight months to travel to Mars. Then you have to wait on Mars for about a year and a half before you can fly home again, which takes another six to eight months. So it's gonna be a really challenging mission. Uh, so maybe some of these things that you're experiencing today, some of these challenges challenges that you're overcoming uh, are in fact preparing you uh, for your future career as an astronaut on board the International Space Station or even one day maybe on a mission to Mars. I wish you all the best. Uh, we're gonna get through these difficult times uh, sooner rather than later, but in the meantime, stay safe and take care of each other. Bye.